Hey guys, Eeky Gaming here. We're gonna do some um flow fishing here on Quarry at 134.91, which is right down here um on I7. I'm gonna use three types of different setups here. Um the depth gonna be 1.5. The first rod is gonna have double mayfly with the medium eleven hook. And the second is going to be Mayfly and Stonefly. And then the third rod is just going to be a control base with one um, bait on it, which is just the Mayfly. I'm thinking the Mayfly is going to be our biggest chance getting the Cory Whitefish. Everything's got the 11 uh, size hook. And so, yeah. I'm just going to just cast right straight forward. I could get, get a good cast out. I would do about 60% at least. And keep your rods separate so you can pay attention to what uh, float flows, you know. I got different colors here. I got the red, I got the green, and one like a black and blue. You got a fish over here. Lake trout. Anyways, the um this video is basically trying to concentrate and find Cory Whitefish. I know some people are asking about it. There's not really many videos on Cory Whitefish because it's like People said the most recent is like about three months ago. So we'll see what we can find. Good. Okay, keep in mind, I I would recommend having a decent um telestick. Like for example, I got the Model 2. This is a 9.4 kg low capacity. Um, and I'm using um, 8 kg. Now the reason why I'm using this type of rod. Because these fish here, the Lakers, do get big. And so do the um, Arctic Chars. They will take. And they will break you off as well. I had to happen. Not good. There's a first koi whitefish. And that came off the control uh base one here. See, just the one bait mayfly. That one over here was taken off. This one got me on it. Had something on it. I'm not very good with this musical uh, game here. Uh, I can hardly see the bloats because um, I don't know. I'm just watching for the ripples. I should get the uh, the binoculars. Alright, Cory Whitefish. This one came off the middle rod, which is Mayfly and Stonefly. This one's floating up, so something, well, was on this.
Now, the reason why I, I knew this spot would be working is this is a spot that I used for um, completing my um, challenge. I didn't think that they would um, would change the um, the spot as of yet because people are still trying to do these challenges and stuff and they extended the for up to 17 days so that's good and Elwood I, I appreciate what he did he gave people a chance with this because yeah the challenges were difficult especially that brown trail the one point five kg that took me freaking seven days <laughs> not to mention that um, the blue bream took me days as well to complete You see how much that fish took my attention up? It wasn't even that big even. I was saying you definitely need um a decent telestick if you're gonna do this float fishing. Got fish over here. Missed that one. Couldn't help it. This one's floating up. Dang it. Alright, let's see if we can find some more fish. Thought I saw the one over to the left. That one had a bite, but it just like went down very subtle. Come on. Come on. You see what I mean? Put it down! I said this one almost broke me off. Another one, another one, another one. Come on. I see one down there biting. I missed it. That one hit so fast. Catching crappy lake trail. No. Oh, I saw a bite on this one. Let's see what we're doing with here. You can't even see the color on her.
Mm, could be a roach, maybe. One's still biting. And still biting. Not grabbed it yet. Where's the fish at? Nice peeler. Finally, Jesus. What the heck is this thing? It took forever to bite. Electro. Well, that's annoying. This one's got a fish on it. I couldn't tell the bite or not. Well, this one's got something on it too. Like I said, I couldn't tell the bite on that one because that one was like way over here. So it was kind of um, floating up. Wait, that's one hit fast. Oh, whoa, 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 Dang it. This is what I mean. Oh, I'm not fish. Come on, get out of there. I've seen that one take off. Wait. Oh, I think that's a big fish, though. That one that I missed. Now the lake trout. That one. I'm really not looking for lake trout. Looking for Cory Whitefish for you guys. Why oh, dang lake trout's aggressive?
I'm starting to think maybe the cord wavefish is more active um, during the morning hours. But maybe they could be active right in the evening too. Late evening, I'm meaning. Here's Bendy's. Oh, not again. Come on. Dang, these, like I said, these lake cups is crazy. Oh my god, another freaking hard fish. There's too many lake trails. Oh, come on, not again. I'll tell you one thing, catching a trophy lake trout is out of the question. <laughs> So, <clears throat> I think I'm going to be selling our fish here soon. Um, I'm just catching nothing but lake trout. And the video is going on long enough. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and sell the fish. Alright, so as always, we always check the cafe to see if there's anything to offer. Because with all the lake trouts and stuff, I don't see nothing here. Yeah, nothing here at all. So, 39 fish, though, that's not too bad. So, 35 minutes. Mm. 139 silver. So, as you can see that I got um, 
two of the Corey Whitefish back to back. One was that sound of Mayfly with the eleven uh size hook. Other one was Mayfly and Stonefly. But yeah, you can see that the Blake Trout were dominating us. Anyways, that's gonna be it for the video. Like the video, like uh please hit that like button, appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.